Hi there, my name is Ms. Froze. I'm the president of the BC Literacy Council of the International Literacy Association, principal of David Livingston Elementary School, and a lover of books. So let's read. Our story today is called The Big Red Lollipop, and it's written by Ruxana Khan and illustrated by Sophie Blackall. I am so excited. I run all the way home from school. Ami, I've been invited to a birthday party. There's going to be games and toys, cake and ice cream. Can I go? Santa screams, I want to go too. Ami says, what's a birthday party? It's when you celebrate the day you were born. Why do they do that? They just do. Can I go? Santa screams, I want to go too. I can't take her. She's not invited. Why not? says Ami. They don't do that here. Ami says, well, that's not fair. You call your friend and ask if you can bring Santa or else you can't go. But Ami, they'll laugh at me. They'll never invite me to another birthday party again. Santa screams, I want to go too. I say, look, Santa, one day you'll get invited to your own friend's parties. You, won't you like that better? No, I want to go now. I beg and plead, but Ami won't listen. I have no choice. I have to call. Sally says all right, but it doesn't sound all right. I know, she thinks I'm weird. At the party, I'm the only one who brought her little sister. Santa has to win at all the games, and when she falls down during musical chairs, she cries like a baby. Before we leave the party, Sally's mom gives us little bags. Inside, there are chocolates and candies, a whistle, a ruby ring, and a big red lollipop. Santa eats her big red lollipop on the way home in the car. I save mine for later. Santa doesn't know how to make things last. By bedtime, her candies are all gone, her whistle is broken, and the ruby in her ring is missing. I put my big red lollipop on top of the shelf on the fridge to have it in the morning. All night. I dream about how good it's going to taste. In the morning, I get up early to have it. Santa's already up. When she sees me, she runs away. I open the fridge door. All that's left of my lollipop is a triangle stuck to a stick. Santa! I hear a sound in the front hall closet. I should have known. That's where she always hides. I shove aside coats and boots. I'm going to get you. Quick as a rat, she scoots through my legs and runs around and around the living room and the dining room, in the kitchen yelling, Ami, Ami, help, help. Ami comes out, rubbing her eyes. Santa runs behind Ami, where I can't get her. What's going on here, says Ami. Santa says, Rubina's trying to get me. Ami puts her hands on her hips. Are you trying to get your little sister again? She ate my lollipop, the greedy thing. She ate it. Ami says, for shame, it's just a lollipop. Can't you share with your little sister? I want to cry, but I don't. Santa runs to the fridge and brings back the triangle stuck to the stick. Look, I didn't eat all of your lollipop. I left the triangle for you. See, says Ami, she didn't eat all of it. She's sharing with you. Go ahead, take the triangle. So I have to take it. Go ahead, eat the triangle. But I don't. With all my might, I throw it across the room. It skitters under the sofa. 
Santa scurries after it and eats that too. The worst thing is that all the girls at school know if they invite me to their birthday parties, I have to bring Santa. I don't get any invitations for a really long time. Then one day, Santa comes home waving an invitation. Ami, I've been invited to a birthday party. There's going to be games and toys and cake and ice cream. Can I go? Our little sister Miriam screams, I want to go too. Santa says, no, I can't take her. She's not invited. Ami says, well, it's only fair. You went to Rubina's friend's party. Now Rubina and Miriam can go to your friend's party. I say, leave me out of it. Ami says, fine, then you have to take Miriam. Now it's Santa's turn to beg and plead. Ami won't listen. Santa's begging so hard she's crying, but Ami still won't listen. I could just watch her and have her take Miriam. I could just let her make a fool of herself at that party. I could just let her not be invited to any more parties. But something makes me tap Ami on the shoulder. What? Don't make Santa take Miriam to the party. No, says Ami. No, I say. Ami thinks for a moment, then says, okay. So Santa gets to go by herself. After the party, I hear a knock at my door. What do you want? I ask Santa. Here. She hands me a big green lollipop. This is for you. Thanks, I say. After that, we're friends. The end.